All right, so Lake Elsinore, Econo Lodge and Casino right behind the camera. Here are some differences between uh, poker here and poker in Vegas that have nothing to do with strategy, nothing to do with the hands. And they're all kind of related. The first one is full games. For one, we're nine-handed here. Uh, a lot of eight max now in Vegas and elsewhere. We're nine-handed here. People are so used to full games, they have such a short temper, a short leash on people being away from the table. In Vegas, not that I like it, but I'm used to people putting their chips down, playing for 20 minutes, and then disappearing for 45 minutes. It happens all the time. I'm like counting down when I could try to get the floor to pick them up. Like, it's normal, and you just have to deal with it. Here, if someone goes to the bathroom, that's fine. They return, no one says anything. If someone goes out to vape, like takes two draws of a vape, comes back, no one says anything. If someone goes outside and smokes like an entire cigarette, however long that takes, like five to 10 minutes, that's beyond the breaking point. People get very agitated. Like someone will go out throughout the session like two times to smoke a full cigarette. And during the second time, people at the table will be like, is this guy ever gonna play hands? Is there a list? Like, can we get him picked up? Can you like make him stay and play? Like what's going on here? It is awesome. I'm not mad that they're impatient. I think it's awesome because I don't like it, but it's become like such a part of my hours in Vegas needing to deal with it. It is like refreshing other people at the table having a problem with people being away from the table. They're not really impatient though with bad games though, it's weird, like every once in a while there's like a pretty slow game, there's a few chops, there's not uh, some large raises, and people will like voice their displeasure with that, but they don't even look at the board, they don't ask to table change, they don't look at the other tables, like table changing happens so much in Vegas. Oh, uh, I remember the last time I played Bellagio a lot, like 2016 and 17, um, I knew the pad of paper behind the counter when you first walk in that uh, has all the table change lists. It's like, for one, it's each stake. It's one, two, it's two, five, it's five, ten. And the lists are usually like eight to ten people long. There are like so many people in Vegas always asking for table changes, trying to find a better seat for whatever reason. Better, for whatever reason, means better to them. Out here, it almost never happens. It's not that it doesn't happen, but like people will complain about the game and then still sit in their same chair at that same table for like the next four hours. So, uh, that's cool that the games don't break. Um, but it is weird. They kind of like notice what a bad game is, but they're still here to play. Like people in Vegas will change uh, tables, change casinos, just go home, not play that day. In here, even if it's a poor game, they play all night. And the third thing is, uh, it's probably like way, way more mellow than I've seen in any other city. The floor gets called so rarely for a decision. The floor gets called so rarely because like players are barking at each other. In Vegas, I told you uh, right before I took the flight to Denver, I told you uh, the nickname for a floor at Bally's, V for Vendetta. There are so many times he needs to make a decision or he has to come like, eject a player who's drunk or being a jerk he's gone into so many vendettas with players so many players have vendettas against him it happens all the time and that's not even like so much like uh something went wrong in the hand there's a controversy over like what the ruling is in a hand like a card got flipped up someone exposed his or her whole card or something like that just like problems at the table happen so much the floor has to be called a lot in vegas here almost never i remember last year not even this trip last year two guys were about to fight and they actually went outside one of them made it outside the other one was walking outside when the floor ran over and stopped them kept them inside uh that is the only thing i can remember related to like players jawing at each other and as far as uh making a ruling in a hand, I think twice. Uh, it's been like a full month here for me. This trip, in addition to um, late March when I was here, in addition to EDC weekend last year, I can remember two times the floor was called to make a decision. Like, it's very mellow, um, not a lot of problems, which is, it's fun while it's happening, not as cool for the channel. No one like uh, the characters in Council Bluffs, which led to some great videos. There was the uh, racist, racist comment video last year. There was the loan. I got like uh, two or three videos to tell you guys about uh, the loan that spoiled Brad took from Loner. Uh, nothing like that happens here, but it's, uh, it's definitely different. Even in like Baltimore, there's like a lot more excitement in the social aspect of the game. Here it's like very social, which is cool. The game is uh, talkative, it keeps going, but 
Yeah, not like problems, not like East Coast controversies or anything like that. So there you have it, some uh, culture shock differences between uh, Vegas poker and California poker. I'm gonna go in and uh, play now. If uh, some more differences uh, arise in my last two weeks here, I'll uh, make another video. And remember, rice is a spoon food.